me and my wife both separately had a calling to go and serve the Lord. When, so when we got engaged, we said we'll put one year aside, and then we decided, well, to really be effective, let's put two years aside. And we went up to Kenya to what was believed the unreached, unreached people group. And um, used learning curve for us, realized that we need a better support and more training. So after six months, we came back to South Africa, and we were fortunate enough to end up in Pretoria doing live school at World Business Center for six months. We did it full time, and after that got better support in place, moral support, um, logistical support, and then we went back to Kenya. Firstly, it helped us immensely um, to be cultural sensitive, to cross barriers that we didn't even know existed before. Gave us confidence and equipped us to be as effective as we can be. If you want to spend limited time in a country or want to get work done, I think it's the best equip um, or best material to equip you. Um, and we definitely benefited from that immensely. And then we could use those teachings and experience and, um, and put it into the Kenyan missionaries. Our strategy to reach the unreached tribes, one church, one mission couple can't do it. It's a immense task. Um, our strategy was called the Gateway Strategy, where we mobilized Kenyan missionaries supported by Kenyan pastors or Kenyan churches to do the work. And we could use our wisdom and knowledge from the life school to implement it into and help these missionaries. Um, as we get to know them or plant them out among the unreached people groups, um, we could identify which areas of teachings they needed and then tap from this resource base of life school and equip them in those areas. The two years that we set out to be in Kenya ended up to a season 13 years. We served in Kenya um, and then we widened our vision. Instead of working with one unreached people group, we worked with 13 unreached people groups. And then after the 13 years, our season was finished and I got back to South Africa. I realized that the life school is now translated in Kiswahili, their local language. So working now for a resource church, I set the most strategic resource we can plant among these people that we've invested a season of our lives and a lot of church money into is to go and plant life schools among all these tribes and um, so we took 13 life schools and planted them among the unreached people groups with these missionaries we got testimonies coming back um, the struggles the the students face because they sometimes have to go and sell vegetables to get um, fuel money for their motorbikes to come to school or to pay somebody to take them with a motorbike to school, um, as it's really a poverty-stricken area. And, um, and then about two-thirds through the life school, we got this testimony that um, three churches were planted with unreached people groups within six months of starting the school. And um, so all the years that we've um, worked there, you didn't see success. You see four um, churches planted in 13 people groups. And here, yeah, within six months, we saw um, three churches planted. And um, so, yeah, they were just testifying of how this tool gave them um, the courage, the um, empower them to be successful, not only for the couple that ran the school, but for the students who planted these schools. And since then, after the school graduated, fortunate to be there, <coughs> when, it was, when they graduated, it was a phenomenal experience under these big um, mango trees. They had a celebration. Of, um, and, and the Muslims were watching this celebration. They didn't know what it was for, but um, it was just a glorious time to be there. And since then, they planted another church. So three of these churches are planted in the un under unreached people groups, which is a phenomenal um, testimony of the success um, that could be achieved um, by God's grace.